Today's gonna to be a weather share. Today's date is 3-9-2017. It's approximately 60 degrees out. It's around 3.30 p.m. And the barometric pressure is 29.92 millibars. And the humidity is about 28%. And as you can see, it is absolutely a gorgeous day out. Oh my, oh look at that, a chemtrail. We don't really see chemtrails up here very much, but yeah, we get them up here too. But I figured I'd do a little weather share to try to get a mile marker for March, so I have something to go go back on to get an idea what the temperatures look, you know, are doing this time of the year and looking like and everything. But it's going to be kind of hard to believe that the temperatures are going to go down all the way to the single digits, possibly zero, over the weekend for the next four or five days. It's absolutely incredible that you can have a 60 degree day like this and it's going to be almost zero, if not below zero, over the weekend. For, for at least three or four days something like that then it's going to be in the teens for the next couple of days but during the day it looks like it'll be shooting up into the 40s so but yeah i just show you you know you can see buds are coming out in the trees yeah they're this is all going to get wiped out this weekend all the trees got buds on them i'll take you for a walk back here mighty greenhouse show you the temperature on the temperature thing I should do a screenshot of, of uh, my local forecast. I keep forgetting to do that. Maybe I could do that and put that as a thumbnail or something. Yeah, you can see all the buds are coming out. It's This is really, this hurts us every year. This has been doing this now for a couple years. Oh, let's see what we got here. Uh-oh. Oh, I got a breach. Water broke. I guess it froze. Look at that. Oh, I don't know how many thousands of gallons that was. But let's take a look at that thermometer. All right, that's the temperature. It's actually above 60, but it's probably more or less right, realistically right around 60 degrees more than anything. But yeah, look at that. It must have froze. That's what happened. How long that's been frozen and running like that, I don't know. I can't imagine it's been running that long. But yeah, those gauges, just so you know, if you ever... These gauges, they usually break. You have to get a gauge that has oil in it, generally, so you don't have that problem. Let's see what the greenhouse looks like. Uh, that's the temperature right now in the greenhouse. It's about 90 in here. It doesn't feel like 90, but... Seed trays are all on hold. They're all dried up. There's no point in keeping them wet and moist. It's only going to plunge down this weekend. There ain't really no point in doing much of anything. In fact, i got to drain my spigot down. Here's my pond. You can see it's kind of brown from the water. We got flooded not too long ago. And the water, when it floods, when it gets really bad here, the water just comes down the hill. You know, down over, down the hill there, and it floods, and it just comes down and floods the pond. Anyway, I don't want this to be a video about my garden right now. It's supposed to be a weather share. But, yeah, as you can see, it's just gorgeous out. There's the sun. Yeah, there's... We got, what do we got, a chem trailer? I don't know if I can catch that. Can you see it on here? Yeah, we got a chem trailer playing up there. And... But yeah, it's gorgeous out, guys. Beautiful day. Like I say, it's hard to believe that it's going to go down into the single digits this weekend. Uh, possibly even below zero. So, anyways, 
Uh, if I see anything uh, worth noting, as far as like the freeze off on the buds, I'll, I'll make a video about that specifically and show you the damage that the frost will cause or this freezing will cause and uh, how much it'll damage the plants. But, all right.